all here is Lent and I know you're looking for some recipes so we're making a bomb tuna casserole to satisfy those bellies. Stay tuned. So long you ain't see me. <laughs> but I'm now gonna finish the rest of the song. Guys, it is so good to be back in the Eater Food Kitchen. If this is the first time you're coming across our channel, welcome, my name is Crystal Martin and today we are in the kitchen making a tuna casserole but not just any tuna casserole we're giving it a little asian flair and the asian flair is coming by way of grace foods spicy thai chili tuna now they have given us our good friends over at grace have given us four flavors to try out so we have the tuna with vegetables we have the tuna with sweet corn spicy thai chili and the garlic and hot pepper so we have four flavors here but we only work in with three today and like i said we're giving this casserole a little thai ins inspiration and we're pulling it from the spicy thai chili tuna now for lent if you observe lent you know i know people is be looking for a lot of recipes whether it be tuna whether it be mackerel and it's a good thing we have some stuff coming up with grease in mackerel but for now we work in with the tuna so we have all our, all of our ingredients here we have our cheese we have our milk we have our thyme dried basil which is going to carry into the thai flavor Carrots, garlic, celery, onion, pimento, and some breadcrumbs for the top to make it extra crunchy. So let's get into this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let me get into this now. Right, so our pasta is already done, and I like to cook it just under al dente because it continues to cook, and I don't like mushy pasta, right? So that is there waiting for us. So now we're going to saute our aromatics. We're adding in some oil. And the good thing about this tuna casserole, it's like a one pot wonder because everything is going to be happening in our cast iron pot. So next I'm going to add in our onions. I mean onions is the start <laughs> of most sautés, right? Pimentos, garlic. And we used about three cloves of garlic. Don't worry, the recipe will be listed. But you could use it as a guide, you know? You could put as however much garlic you want, however much celery you want. I love garlic, so. So add a little salt at this stage. And some pepper. Continue to mix. Next I'll add in our carrots. So it's a good way to sneak in some veggies as well. You know, if you have some kids out there who not too, mommy, I don't like this. Mommy, I don't like too much veggies. Sneak it in this way, they will never know. They will never know. And that is a, probably about one cup of shredded carrots. All right, so while our aromatics are sorting, I am going to try out these little tins of tuna. Now these tins of tuna are supposed to be a complete meal. It's already seasoned. So half your work already is done, right? But you know me, I want to taste. <laughs> when you have little nails now. I want to taste. Oh, oh my gosh, I am pleasantly surprised. There's actually a chili. There's actually a chili in there and it does look very much seasoned. So let me. Mmm. Spicy Thai chili. Love it. Ooh. It have a nice little kick, eh? It have a kick. I like the kick. I like that. So this is now the tuna in sweet corn. And we're gonna get more veggies in this way. <clears throat> I still feel in the heat. <laughs> but it's tasty boy. Oh, so they have the corn on top with some little veggies and then the tuna is actually at the bottom. Okay, this is quite nice. Mm. Another winner here. 
What I love about this is that it's complete. You come home in a rush, you don't know what to cook. You pull out these tins. If you want to make it into a salad, you just slap some mayonnaise, mix it up a little bit, make a nice little tuna salad. Quick, quick, quick. I like this. And this now, the last one is tuna with vegetables. Okay, so far I am impressed on it. Mm. So I'm seeing carrots, I'm seeing onions, I'm seeing green peas. Looks like it's a nice little sauce too. Let me taste. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, listen, we cook it. We cook it today. We cook it today. I can't wait. This is very much. They win with this, they win. Because it has all the flavor and everything that you will need, you literally don't even need to add any more seasoning to this, right? To carry on the Thai flavor, I'll add some dry basil. If you have fresh basil, of course, basil, of course, add it in. Fresh is always best. When you don't have that, the dried will work, right? Also, some fresh thyme. Thyme is one of my favorite herbs. So, I'm going to use one of the chilies and just dice it up a little bit and add it in for some extra heat at this point we're going to add in our pasta so you have to be careful even though your pasta is firm you still don't want to rough it up too much so it's a kind of a scoop and fold scoop and fold you want to make sure that all of the pasta or all of the tuna mixture is fully incorporated so that we get a nice color, but that every bite of the casserole is tuna. So please take your time in this process. So we're gonna add our milk now. This is four cups, roughly four cups of milk. Gonna add in the cheese. Remember, we are not adding all of the cheese, just some of it for now because we want to reserve some for the top. Mix in the cheese. And I don't know if you guys are hearing this. You know the noise that pasta makes when it comes into contact with dairy or any kind of cream here or not? So we raised the heat just so that we could get some little bubble action. So if you're seeing that there are nice little bubbles there taking place and the milk and the cheese are starting to congeal and bring everything together. So now the final touch is now is some cheese on top. But this I would say is a game changer if you want that nice crusty topping. And this is how my mom used to make pies long time. You just put some breadcrumbs on top if you don't have breadcrumbs and you have some crackers home you just grind it up works the same way so into the oven we go please be careful at this stage so ladies and gentlemen our casserole is finished and the hardest part about a casserole or any pie oven baked pie like dish is the wait. You have to wait for it to set. I've waited 10 minutes and I'm not waiting any longer. I ain't had no patience today <laughs> because I'm hungry. So I am going to slice into it, right? I mean, you all see the nice little crust, see the nice little color. And I reserved one of the chili peppers from the tin just for a little garnish on top. Yeah, and if you want a little extra heat, you could add it in i think it should be set enough right so 
So here we go, here we go. Okay. Hold together, hold together, hold together. <laughs> so let's see what we're working on. This is like a complete meal, right? Where are you going in? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't talk yet. I'll go in for another bite. This is probably the best tuna casserole I've ever made. <laughs> and I'm not joking with you. The flavors are there. This is a crowd pleaser. I cannot see a family and the kids not enjoying this. Special thanks to our friends over at Grace for sponsoring this episode of Simply Local. Grace products can be found in leading supermarkets nationwide. And let me tell you, they're onto something with these little tin tuners here. See, it, it's small, but it packs an amazing punch and we really, really enjoyed it. I mean, especially the spicy Thai chili. You can eat it straight out of the tin or you could incorporate it into an amazing casserole like we did today. It is perfect to add to your Lenten season repertoire. So the next time you are in the supermarket, please do not pass these little tin tuners by. Pick them, pick them up. Pick up one, pick up all. Try out the flavors and let us know which one you like best. Until then, see you on the next one.